We're asked to sketch the region enclosed by the given curves, decide whether to integrate with respect to x or y, then find the area of the region. We are given y equals 9 cosine x, y equals the square of 5 secant x, which is equal to 25 secant squared x, x equals negative pi over 4, and x equals positive pi over 4. So I've already graphed the bounded region on the right. Our goal here is to find the area of the shaded region, which notice is bounded above by y equals 25 secant squared x, and below by y equals 9 cosine x. So because the area is bounded above and below by two functions of x, we will integrate from left to right or with respect to x, which means the area is equal to the def integral from a to b of the top function minus the bottom function integrated with respect to x, which means the area is equal to the integral from negative pi over 4 to positive pi over 4 of 25 secant squared x minus 9 cosine x. But we can simplify this integration by taking a look at the area again and notice how it's symmetrical about the y-axis or x equals 0, which means we could integrate from 0 to pi over 4 and then just double the value of the def integral. So let's go ahead and do that. The area is also equal to 2 times the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of 25 secant squared x minus 9 cosine x. This will just make finding big F of b minus big F of a simpler. So now we'll go ahead and find the antiderivative. The antiderivative of 25 secant squared x is 25 tangent x minus the antiderivative of 9 cosine x, which is 9 sine x. And now we need to find two times the quantity big F of pi over 4 minus big F of 0. So we first substitute pi over 4 for x, which gives us 25 tangent pi over 4 minus 9 sine pi over 4. And then we have minus, and now we substitute 0 for x, which gives us 25 tangent 0 minus 9 sine 0. We have 2 times tangent pi over 4 is equal to 1, which gives us 25 times 1. Sine pi over 4 is equal to square root 2 divided by 2. So we have minus 9 times square root 2 divided by 2. And then we have minus tangent 0 is equal to 0. And sine 0 is also equal to 0, so we just have minus 0. And now substitute 2 to find the exact area. We have 2 times 25 minus 2 times 9 square root 2 divided by 2. Here 2 divided by 2 simplifies to 1. So the exact area is 50 minus 9 square root 2. Let's also get our decimal approximation to four decimal places, which gives us 37.2721. I hope you found this helpful.